Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you set up an Instagram feed on your ASP.NET web application. The video is divided in two sections. The first section is where we're going to get your access token from Instagram or actually from Facebook's development page because Instagram is owned by Facebook. And second, we're going to implement the HTML and CSS and the JavaScript to make it all work on the website. So let's get started. So the first thing we will do is to get the access token from Facebook's developer page. But if you already have the token, you can go and skip to this timestamp in the video. Then you will come directly into the coding part of this video. But the first thing we will do is to go to developers.facebook.com. I will link it in the description and we will go to my apps. Inside this page, you need to be logged in with Facebook and we will create a new app. So let's hit the create app and inside this page, we want to select the icon with the two persons. I guess that if it was in English, it would say consumer, but I think the language is depending on your settings on Facebook. But for now, let's click this one and we say next. And inside this page, we can give it a name. So this could just be whatever you call your brand. Like I call mine setbit and we could say website and then hit create app. And then you need to confirm this with your Facebook password. So now when that's done, you should be redirected to this page. And what we want to use is this Instagram basic display. We want to hit the setup and then we want to go to the bottom of this page and say create new app. And we can just call it Zbit website or whatever you did call it. So create app. And on this page, we want to scroll down and to the user token generator where we're going to hit this add or remove Instagram testers. And then again, we want to scroll down and hit the add Instagram testers button. And in here, you want to enter the username of the Instagram account that you want to have displayed the images from. So in my case, it would be setbit.tech and I will submit. And now if we scroll down, we can see that this is pending. So now what we want to do is to go to our Instagram account and confirm that we want to be a tester. So now let's go to Instagram. And now that we are in, we want to go to the logo of the right corner and hit settings. And then we want to select the apps and websites. And all the way over to the right side, we have this tester invitations where you want to accept that you want to have the access. So by accepting, I agree to be a tester and I can now make a access token. So going back to the developer Facebook page and refresh this page and scroll down again, you can now see that I'm not pending anymore. So what we can do now is to go to this Instagram basic display and hit basic display. And then let's scroll down to the user token generator. And as you can see now, I can generate a token. So if I hit this one, then it might ask you to log in again with the correct account. But after doing that, you can hit agree. Then you have to hit the I understand checkbox, and then you are able to copy your access token. And I think you want to save this a secure place and save it in another file because I don't think you're able to see the exact same token again. But now that you have your token, then let's go to the actual code and set up a ASP.NET web app where we integrate the Instagram feed. So let's open up Visual Studio and create a new project and select the ASP.NET Core web app and hit next. And it doesn't matter what we call it. We just hit next. And we want to use the .NET 6 framework. So let's go and hit create. And now that the project is created, then let's go to pages and open the index file. So now I want to go to my website to get the code. And I will link this article in the description. But if we scroll down, we can go down and copy and paste this HTML and put it inside our project. So what this HTML is doing is that we have a div with an image inside. It will be the Instagram logo. And then you will have the name of the Instagram channel or account. So remember to change that and also change the link. 
and then we have the container for the images that we're going to display and this is just a bootstrap container with a row inside and then we have the diff where the javascript will insert the images but before going on with the javascript i want to copy and paste in the css so that we get a grid so that the images will line up properly so let's go back to my article and down here we have this css so we want to copy and paste this and we will insert it into the www root and to the css folder in the file called site.css and we can paste it inside here so inside this css we're going to display it as a grid and we are going to say that it has uh, three columns and it has three rows and they're both 100 pixels in the width and in the height and then we have a gap on five pixels between the images so now for the final step we will go back again and copy and paste this javascript and just to keep it simple i will just put it inside this index html file if you have some js files then you should of course put the script inside the js files but for now i will just put them right here so what we're doing is that we are fetching this code from this url and it's a guy called steven schubert i think who made this instafeed.js file that we can use to implement uh, the Instagram images. So the thing we do in the JavaScript is that we make a new instance of this instafeed, and that method is, is of course coming from the instafeed.js file. And what we are giving it as parameter is actually just a JSON object, where we say that we want to get the user and we want to limit it to nine. So it will take nine images from the Instagram user. It will target the InstaFeed container, which is this one. So it will put all the images inside that ID or that div. And then we are fetching the images uh, with a low resolution just to make it a little bit faster. And then you have to insert your access token right here. So now I just inserted the access token I was generating before. And this should fetch the images from my Instagram account. But the final thing we do in the JavaScript is to say user feed and then run. So if we now try this out, we can now see that we have this nice Instagram feed. Of course, we need to insert the image. So I'll just do that. It's just the Instagram logo. So now I just added this folder IMG and I inserted a image called Instagram slash logo. So now I just need to change the path over here so it will match the actual path of the image. And then let's hot reload this. So now as you can see, we also get the Instagram logo. So now it's look really clean, but you can of course play around with it so it fits your website. And you can just take the HTML code and just move it wherever you want to have the display the Instagram feed. But if you could use this video, then please like and subscribe my channel. I will try to make some more ASP.NET videos where you can get some more tips and inspiration to your own website, but of course also other topics that are programming related. But for now, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.